Hi there. I'm Miss Claypool and I teach high school math here at the American School of Warsaw. If you're watching this video, then either you or someone you know is probably about to be my student. So, welcome! Uh, I hope you're enjoying the last few days of your summer vacation. I had a really good summer, but I'm definitely ready to get back to work. So, I'm starting by making this video for you, both to welcome you and introduce myself, and because when I was a student, the very first day of school was kind of a bummer because every single teacher had a list of school supplies that I was supposed to go out and buy that very night so that I could bring them the next day when school really got started. So what I'm doing is I'm giving you a list of school supplies and you've still got almost a week to go find these things. So hopefully that's enough time. Let me get started. The very first thing on my list of school supplies is a notebook. I only have two requirements for this notebook. First, it has to be A4 sized. It cannot be letter sized like from the US and it can't be a weird little size like they sell A3 notebooks and stuff. It needs to be an A4 sized notebook. The other thing is that it needs to be graph paper because this is math class and we're probably going to be doing some graphing. Uh, you're going to have some decisions to make. You can get a spiral notebook or you can get a notebook where the pages are sewn in. It does not matter. Um, though if it's a spiral notebook you might want to check and make sure it's not too easy to tear the pages out because what we're doing with this notebook is making uh, a fabulous reference of all the stuff we're going to be doing this year. And if the pages tear out that would be pretty disastrous. So um, pick a notebook with se secure pages. Another thing you've got to decide on is whether you want to have one notebook for the whole year or multiple notebooks. So it's totally up to you. Um, this notebook that I was practicing in the summer only has 40 pages, so if you get one like this, you're going to need to get a few of them. If you get a 200-page notebook, that will probably last you through the whole year. The other thing to think about is that you can't use this notebook whatever notebook you get for anything but math class. Among other things, you're going to be handing it in to me sometimes and it would be really bad if I had your science homework held hostage while I was grading your notebook. So, A4 graph paper notebook. That's thing number one. Thing number two, and I'm sure this is a shock to you, you're going to need a couple of pencils. Uh, I like mechanical pencils, but some people are really attached to their wooden pencils and that's okay too. So, just pencils. If you are a fellow mechanical pencil lover, you're going to need to bring some pencil lead so that when your pencil runs out of lead, you can put more in. You're going to want an eraser. I had this cool clicky eraser, but uh, you can just use a standard old-fashioned eraser. That's fine too. You're going to need colored pencils. Uh, for this class, you only need four colored pencils, although they don't usually sell them in sets of four. You can bring the whole set if it fits in your kit, or you can just like take four and stick them together with a rubber band. If you and your friend like different colors, you can even split a set of colored pencils, and that will work fine. And, uh, yeah. You're going to need a pencil sharpener, because even if you like mechanical pencils, I haven't seen mechanical colored pencils, although they probably exist. Um, do get the kind of pencil sharpener ugh, that has the little thingy that catches the pencil shavings. Don't get the kind of pencil sharpener where the shavings just go everywhere because that's bad. You are going to need some pens. Uh, minimum blue and black, probably. You can bring all kinds of pretty colors if you want. Um, you might want pretty colors in your notebook and that's cool. So, a couple of pens. Bring a highlighter. You can bring a bunch of colors or just one. You can, I kind of cheat, I'm not really a highlighter person, but sometimes I use my, uh, my colored pencils and I just color over stuff lightly and that works too. But bring, you know, one real highlighter. Uh, let's see. You're going to want a ruler. I have this cute little ruler that fits in my pencil case. Um, if you have a big ruler, you're going to have to figure out how to carry it. But I would really recommend you get maybe not a huge ruler. 
going with the not a huge whatever tool theme, get some scissors that also fit in your pencil case. But you don't get the really little crummy ones that are not fun to use. Like these, these are a nice balance between the handles are not terrible and they fit in my pencil case. Um, okay, this item might be hard for you to find. So this is a dry erase marker. The brand I found in Polum is Titanum. And the reason it's awesome, it is fine point. So we are going to be using these in class on little dry erase boards. So you need um, you need dry erase markers for this class, a minimum of one, but maybe two because when the first one runs out, you want to have a backup. If you are having as much trouble finding this as I did, uh, you can come to class with some money. I am going to be or doing a big order and you can just buy some from me. So whatever it costs me, I'll, I'll pass that on to you. I'm guessing it's going to be about five swati a pen. And of course, if you can find a better deal, well, first go for it, and second, let me know where you found them. Uh, the other thing you need is a glue stick. But actually, I should rephrase that. Glue sticks are, are nice in that they're not very messy and they don't leak and, and that's great. The problem is the glue that they use to make glue sticks is not very strong. And since we're making a reference that you're going to be able to use at the end of the year to study for finals and maybe even in your future math classes, uh, we want the glue to be pretty strong. So I really recommend liquid glue. And I really, if you can find it, I recommend liquid glue with a fine point. If you can't find it, that's okay, you, you can make do but um, see if you can find fine point liquid glue. Let's see, what else? Oh yeah, last but not least, get a pencil case of some kind that you might wanna find all this stuff and then find a pencil case so that it all fits. I actually <laughs> had to buy a second pencil case because my first one was too small. There are a couple things that you might want but you don't have to have. Uh, first one, Whoever invented this is a genius. This is, um, this is a, a whiteout pen. And normally I do math and pencil, but when I have to use pen, I sometimes make mistakes and this lets me fix my mistakes. The other thing you don't have to have, but you might want to is a little stapler. Sometimes we staple things and I do have a classroom stapler, but it's not much fun to wait for all the other kids to use it. So if you have your own stapler, you don't have to wait. Okay. I hope that's everything. I will send out a little list along with this video, the link to this video. And yeah, I'm looking forward to meeting you all and uh, an excellent year. All right, I'll see you soon.